Welcome back to part two. In part one we solved these first two equations. In this video we'll solve these last two equations. Notice how our equation here contains fractions. So we can perform the optional step one, which says to multiply to clear any fractions or decimals. So because both fractions have a denominator of six, we have the option of clearing the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by six. Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by six. Again, this is an optional step. If we wanted to, we could work with the fractions. Also, if the denominators were different, we'd multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. So we'll go ahead and distribute six here as well as here, and again, it will clear the fractions from the equation. Notice our first product here is six, or six over one times five six d. Notice how six divided by six simplifies to one. So our product is just five d. So we have five d and then six times two is twelve, so plus twelve equals, well six times one six d would just be one d or d. And then six times six is thirty six, so we have plus thirty six. Notice now we have an equation that does not contain fractions. We can skip step two because we don't have any parentheses or like terms on the left side or right side of the equation. Step three, we want to add or subtract in order to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Notice how here we have variable terms on both sides. So looking at the right side, we have this d term, which we can think of as one d. So to undo this or eliminate this from the right side of the equation, we can subtract one d from both sides. Notice d minus d, or one d minus one d is zero. So we have five d minus one d, that's four d, plus twelve equals thirty-six. We're still on step three. We want to isolate the variable term four d. So we want to undo this plus twelve. So we'll subtract twelve from both sides of the equation. Twelve minus twelve is zero, so now we have four d equals thirty-six minus twelve is equal to twenty-four. Now we're on step four. We want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. So four d means four times d. So to undo this multiplication and solve for d, we divide both sides by four. Four divided by four simplifies to one. One times d is d. And twenty-four divided by four is equal to six. So our solution is d equals six. Notice step five is to check the solution which means if d equals six is our solution, if we substitute six for d in the equation, it should satisfy the equation, meaning the left side of the equation should equal the right side when d equals six. And let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. We have five six times d, which is six, plus two on the left side, which is equal to seven, and on the right side, we have one-sixth times six plus six, which is also seven, verifying our solution is correct. Now look at the next equation. We can skip step one because we don't have any fractions or decimals. Step two, we want to simplify each side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. Notice on the left side of the equation, we have these parentheses. So we want to clear them and combine like terms. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here to clear the parentheses. And because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here. So we'd have three m minus four, and then negative one times negative five m, that'd be positive five m or plus five m. And then negative one times positive seven is negative seven, so we'd have minus seven equals twelve m minus forty-seven. We're still on step two. Notice how on the left side we do have like terms. We have two m terms and we have two constants which we can combine. Three m plus five m is eight m. Negative four minus seven is negative eleven, so minus eleven equals twelve m minus forty-seven. Step three, we want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Notice how right now we have variable terms on both sides. So looking at the right side, notice how we have this positive 12m term 
So to undo or eliminate this from the right side, we can subtract 12m from both sides. Notice how on the right, 12m minus 12m is zero. So now we have 8m minus 12m, that's negative 4m. Minus 11 equals negative 47. We're still on step three, we want to isolate the variable term. So we're going to isolate negative 4m on the left side. So we don't want this minus 11 here. So we'll undo minus 11 by adding 11 to both sides of the equation. Negative 11 plus 11 is zero. So now we have negative 4m equals negative 47 plus 11 is negative 36. Step four, multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Well, negative 4m means negative four times m. So to undo this multiplication and solve for m, we divide both sides by negative four. Negative four divided by negative four simplifies the one. One m is just m. And we have negative 36 divided by negative four, which equals positive nine. So our solution is m equals nine. And I would encourage you to substitute nine for m into the original equation to verify the solution is correct. But going back to our first slide, we now know that the solution to this equation is d equals six, and the solution to this last equation is m equals nine. I hope you found this helpful.